Hello everyone, my name is Parker and I am the Senior Patrol Leader of Sellersville Troop 175. Our troop does a lot of community service, so we had to figure out a way to get together and support our community during this pandemic. But the only problem is we can't get together, just like you can't with other people. But even with this major obstacle, we found a way that might help. In this video, you will see our scouts sending in recorded clips of themselves showing off something that they believe would make your day. Please remember that the main point of this video is to make you smile. And if you do, that means we succeeded. We are in this together and we will get through it soon. Hi, my name is Patty Carter. I am the Scoutmaster for Troop 175 of Sellersville, Maryland. I brought you outside to share with you a Scoutmaster's Minute, something that we tell the boys in our troop at the end of every meeting to give them light, give them hope, and to inspire them on to the next week when we see them again. This is an inspirational place to me. I'll show you around a little bit, and then we'll dive right in. Carter. I am a life scout with Troop 175 and this video is being produced to help spread happiness across the hardship times of the coronavirus. So I learned welding through Boy Scouts and I am glad that I learned that because it is a big part in my career path that I would like to do when I grow up and that is to be a diesel technician and work on different um, different machinery out in the farming society to help better things, to help better lives of the farmers. Hi, my name is Norman Dixon, Eagle Scout Troop 175. I'd like to play a little song for you. Mm -hmm. enjoyed my little tune. Hang in there. We will all get through this. Hello, my name is Howard Paul. I am a scout of Troop 175 in Southernsville, Maryland. In times like these, with the p pandemic going on, we are advised to stay home and stay healthy. What do I do? I, number one, I do online studies. Number two, I read books. Number three, I play with my Legos and more. My favorite things include ships, airplanes, trains, and automobiles. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll beat this coronavirus together. See you around. Hi, I'm Luke from Boy Scout Troop 175 in Sudlersville. And today I'm going to show you my ducks. This is the duck's splash pool. 
They like to swim in it. Every night we scoop it out and dump it so the ducks have fresh water for the next day. Now we're gonna go get their food. We give them one big scoop of pellets. Now we're gonna go let them out. These are our 13 week old grown ducks. We have one male and three females and they should start laying in about seven weeks. They like to play in their water most of the day and at about 7 p.m. they come up to their house and we prop the door open and they'll go in their house and go to bed. They've been a fun quarantine project for the past 12 weeks. Troop 175 has four scouts who earned their Eagle Badge in the past two years. There are many requirements to achieving the Eagle rank and those take years to accomplish. The final task on that journey is a project that the scout designs to benefit the community. This raised garden at Foxtown Manor is one of those projects. Alex discussed and designed this idea with residents. He raised funds, purchased materials, and under his leadership, his troop built what you see. The garden has been here for three seasons as a place for residents to grow and harvest fruits and vegetables. Foxtown Manor is located in Sellersville, Maryland. I'm John Hinton. And I'm Ben Hinton. We are from Boy Scout Troop 175, and we are going to do a magic trick for you today. Ben, would you please select a card from the deck? Right okay. here. Okay, show it to the camera. Now please place it back in the deck. And I will flip over your cards until I flip over your card, okay? I'm just gonna... Whoops. I'll flip over these because you put it in the middle. The next card I flip over will be your card. Okay. Was that your card? I forget. <laughs> I'm so <sorry. laughs> Troop 175 is a very active troop with a lot of support. Boys are involved in activities through the year to enhance skills, build character, instill confidence, and become all-around strong community citizens. The additional goal of most scouts is to achieve Eagle status, although only 3% of scouts ever reach that goal. Here is another Eagle project from one of our scouts. Norman Lee came to Camp Pecomath, a religious institution, and installed the Ten Commandments as a rock garden for the campers. Norman's biggest challenge was figuring out how to create the tablets to hold the lettering and withstand the elements. Once he accomplished that task, he raised the needed funds and led his fellow scouts in the installation. Camp Pecomath is located outside of Churchill, Maryland. My name is Mark Elmer Juarez Gabriel. I am a scout. That's my scout rank, or my rank. And today I will be telling some jokes. So to start off, I have this one. Joey said, you want to hear a joke about trees? Ben said, sure. Joey said, nah, it's too sappy. And Noah said, what kind of sandwich is always cold? 
Nate said, what kind? Noah said, a burger. Get it? Burger. What did the tree say when it couldn't figure out the math problem? What? I'm stumped. Where do pencils go on vacation? Where? Pennsylvania. Hello, it's Parker again. This time I will be playing guitar for you. I've been playing a little bit in quarantine, but really I've only been playing kind of for myself, so I don't know that much, but uh, I do know this tune, and that is Smoke on the Water. Hi, my name is Tanita Miranda, a Life Scout with Sellersville Troop 175. Today, I'd like to show you what I've been doing in the past month. Uh, I've since launched my Eagle Scout project to help during this COVID-19 crisis. Uh, my goal is to make 500 homemade masks that are machine washable and dryable and deliver them to nursing homes uh, around Chestertown. So for the masks, I use 100% cotton material right here. And then to act as a filter on the inner layer, I use felt. So what I do is I cut them into chunks and I put them into these little packs for volunteers who are uh, just cutting. And I put a pattern with the checklist uh, to help them, you know, go through the process of cutting the material and uh, if they have any questions, that's usually answered here. Um, when they come back to me, they usually look like this individually. Um, each pin represents one mask. So uh, each mask has three layers, two of cotton and one felt layer. Uh, they'll come in packs like this, big packs. And what I do is I organize them and uh, look through them and I make them into these big packs of 15 masks and each of them has wiring uh, for the nose to fit more comfortably and it has elastic bands. So this is for the volunteers who are sewing and I also have some so I can sew myself. Here is a list of all the volunteers that are helping this project. Just want to say thank you very much for volunteering. Uh, I really uh, appreciate it. Um, and then here is a list of all the volunteers that um, have received materials and have cut materials and sewn it. I'd like to show you my setup here of where I sew uh, the materials that I cut and make. Um, right here I have my sewing machine and my iron so I can fortify its shape. Um, and then I have all the necessary uh, tools that I need when I sew. Here are just two other packs for the people that are going to sew as the volunteers. Uh, it has the elastic and the wiring. So these are amazing. These are called ear savers and they are provided by uh, Alex Simonetti, an Eagle Scout from my troop. And what they are, are you can connect the elastic bands onto these brackets so it relieves tension off of the ears and just makes it more comfortable to wear after long periods of time. And then over here, we just have some more finished products. And the final product is going to be in this bag. This is how they're going to get shipped. Uh, they have the ear saver and the mask. And a little thing that's saying that's from Troop 175 and donated uh, as an Eagle Scout project. And on the back of them, it says it's machine washable and dryable. 
and um, this mask is for just personal comfort. It's not really meant to go into like surgery or anything like that. Um, and then I just want to say thank you to the, all the volunteers who are helping in this project. I really appreciate it. I really can't do it without you. Um, and thank you for watching this video. Um, we're all in this together and we just have to all stay safe and healthy. Thank you. Hi, Paul Simon, any physical therapist. I'm also Boy Scout leader. I've been for 11 years. I was the Cub Master for a handful of years with the PAC 175. I got involved as an assistant scout master in Troop 175. And I've also been the committee chair until a few months ago when Jen was kind enough to take my role and responsibility. I'm also a physical therapist. You know what I've been noticing? People haven't been very active during the stay-at-home order. People were staying home. They weren't going out for simple exercise. And because of that, their cardiovascular fitness is not as good as it used to be. And unfortunately, here I am in the office seeing a lot more patients than I'm used to seeing this time of the year with fractures from falls and injuries. So if everybody can do me a favor, get up, be a little more active, try to do some walking and get more active. Try to be active. Please don't get hurt. Thank you. Hi, I'm Aaron Rupp, an Eagle Scout from Troop 175 from Sellersville, Maryland. So I'm going to take you along with my Eagle Scout project that I completed last year at the Hartley United Methodist Church. So I had uh, chose to redo the landscaping here because I felt like the uh, landscaping before, it only had shrubs and flowers that would only bloom when it would be warm, like right now in June. But throughout the winter months, it would all die, so there wouldn't be much of anything. So I'll just take you a quick tour so you can see we have some boxwood shrubs here with three Lariah piece. And I redid the stones to better match the side of the church versus the red stones that were here previously. I also decided to repaint the handicap ramp white to better match with the fellowship hall. And then I also did uh, redid this part as well, and I also added the cross better give my give my project a more visual more pleasing visual so and I also added a plaque in here in the middle which has my name the troop number the date I did it and the title of my project so that's pretty much it for my project and I hope to see more of you join Scout hello I'm Michael from Troop 175 yeah I'm gonna show you how to make a line for your fishing fishing rod. So first, we're gonna come over here at my tackle box. Open it up. And as you see, we got many types of different hooks, knives, and bobbers. So, I'm gonna need these, the set of hooks, these hooks right here. And for today, we are going to be using one of these weights right here. And we'll put on the bobber. You wanna put on your hook. So, I'm gonna slide this around, grab the hook. Close it, shut. Okay, now come a little bit closer. There you go. Now Make this a tiny one. There. Slip through the hole. And then you take this. Wrap it around. And you want to
Good morning, beautiful souls. My name is Joni. I am Assistant Scoutmaster for Troop 175. And I just thought you might enjoy a walk outside. I like to take my dog. She really likes to go and wants to go all the time. So it's the morning light. And I thought maybe we would just do a walk. I'm very blessed to have a little bit of room here to walk and enjoy the green and the woods and lots of really lovely light and I hope that you will as well. In these trying times we have to find the beauties where we see them. Even in the small things, in the simple gestures, in our memories, and just all that we can be mindful. This is a mountain laurel. It's just busting with flowers. So beautiful. We're all in this together. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Take care.